As we look live at the White House tonight, the Republican candidates for president are wasting no time meeting with voters and trying to get their messages out, focusing a, a lot of attention on Iowa, of course, where the first in the nation Republican caucuses will be held early next year. Fox's Alexandria Hoff takes a look. We're exactly six months out from the Iowa caucuses. Last night, GOP candidates spoke at a forum in the state. Notably absent was former President Trump. Today, though, is important across the board. You can see some fundraising totals here. And today is the filing deadline for campaigns to turn over their April to June fundraising reports to the FEC. Strong donor interest and how money's been spent will signify which candidates have found their footing. Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley is holding an event in Des Moines today. She said this earlier. I know the other candidates are spending millions of dollars. We have not started spending any money yet because it's foolish to do so. It's not time. Among Republican contenders, Governor Ron DeSantis has by far dished out the most money on digital ad buys. According to NBC News, his team even sent out a letter to donors reassuring them that the campaign is not short of momentum. Large donors were reportedly concerned about that. He's also campaigning in Iowa today. This week, former Governor Chris Christie and Senator Tim Scott were added to the candidates who have met the RNC donor requirements to take the debate stage next month. Former President Trump has yet to commit. He sat down for an interview that is going to air tomorrow on Sunday Morning Futures. If people think that Trump is going to be elected, you'll never have a recession. If people think I'm not, you will have more than recession. You're going to have a depression. Yesterday, the Biden-Harris campaign announced that it had raised over $72 million in the second quarter, and that's a relief to some Democrats who felt that the campaign was off to a slow start. In Washington, Alexandria Hoff, Fox News.